What's up, YouTube? I'm doing what is sometimes referred to as King Cobra's Mountain Dew ramen noodles, but he actually calls it his Dragon Breath ramen noodles. Um, and this one, I'm going to have to actually just call it Inspired, since I don't have the exact ingredients. And I'll explain a little bit why. Uh, the Payne County Rust seasoning, I was going to have to order from online, because they did not have it anywhere here. And it was going to be a minimum of $40 for uh, three of them. And I, I just could not justify that, at least not at this point. So instead I got this... Um, this rub here, which uh, should hopefully be similar at least. It's like a cayenne pepper rub. And then the uh, Captain Roy's Pepper Glaze. Supposedly they had some at the Walmart that I, is nearby my place, but uh, I could not find it for the life of me. So I got this ghost pepper hot sauce instead. Everything else should be pretty close. He never said what kind of liquid smoke he used, so I just got a random liquid smoke. I got some Taco Bell Diablo packets, uh, four of those, as well as uh, some of their fire sauce. So I'll try to use four packets worth of this as well. And of course, soy sauce. I got my Doritos, Mountain Dew, Tapatio. Uh, everything else should be pretty close. So let's give it a try. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is cook the noodles. I'm pretty sure this is actually the exact brand he was using from what I could see. So uh, these are the spicy kind of whatever this is. Now we're gonna make two of them. One thing I noticed that I'm probably not gonna copy, he mentioned in his video that he made this the night before. Now I don't know if that means that he made it the night before and then made it again the day he was eating it, but based on other videos, I suspect that he actually made it the night before and then let it cool overnight and then snacked on it the next day. Which is, I don't know if you've ever made ramen noodles and then left them out on the counter for a long time, but uh, they turn to like concrete, That you know? So, uh, that just, <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna do that. And I'm not sure exactly how much of each of these things to use. We're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna cook the noodles first and then dump in the seasoning after we drain most of the water. All right, he used four of these, so let's squeeze these out and see how much we get. I don't know, like a tablespoon and a half or so. I'll try to get a roughly equal amount of this. It seems pretty close. I need to get like a mortar and pestle. I don't want to hear any comments. Be original, guys. That's good enough. Alright, and we're starting to boil. Looks like they're getting done here. Alright, there we go. Got most of the broth drained. Now we will add uh, the seasoning stuff first. Okay, we'll give that a mix around here. Alrighty, get that mixed up. Now to add the other stuff. Alright, now this liquid smoke stuff is super strong, so I'm actually going to just add a little teensy Maybe just a couple more drops. Oh. That was probably too much. Damn it! Ah, it slipped. I can definitely smell it, but hopefully it's not too much. Hopefully it doesn't totally destroy it. Not that this is going to be good, but um, maybe the other things will help out. All right, we're going to add the Taco Bell sauces. First, the Diablo. Alright, we'll add in a teaspoon of tapatio. Oh, I guess we need to add in that uh, rub as well, so I have no idea how much of this to use. Let me just sample it here. Hmm, it tastes pretty good, but 
We'll just put in That's probably good. Ooh, that's spicy. Not not bad though, just a pleasant pleasant spicy. Uh, this ghost pepper sauce. Um, maybe I'll put in like half a teaspoon, more or less half a teaspoon of that. Now we need soy sauce, and we'll put in a splash of that. Probably good. And we also need the Dorito crushed. Put in those. These are just regular Doritos, not spicy or anything. I think he just used regular ones. And then a little bit of splash of Mountain Dew, just to make it even more disgusting. The Mountain Dew and Doritos really make it feel like gamer fuel. All right, I think that's good. He just had a little splash, and I think that was probably more than a little splash. So we're gonna mix it all up now. And I think that's everything, and then I think we can give it a try. Man, I bet Kobe's gut is like the eighth wonder of the world. Here it is. Can you see that? Mine is less liquid than his, um, but I don't know if it's because uh, he had more broth from cooking it, maybe, or more Mountain Dew. I'm not sure, but I don't want to just like fill it with Mountain Dew. You know, so let's um, let's give it a try here. This monstrosity. Oh my. Uh, wow. There's a lot going on in this. Um, it's definitely spicy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not terrible. It's, it's, it's just, it's kind of got a lot of the same thing happening. Like I put in many different sauces and most of the sauces are all kind of the same thing. It's just kind of a, <clears throat> it's quite spicy. You w definitely wouldn't, I can see why Cove's like left this out and just kind of snacked on it a little bit at a time because you, I think you kind of have to, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to eat all this. I have a very high tolerance for spice. Um, so for me, this isn't like the worst thing in the world, but it is warm. It is very warm. And because of a couple of the ingredients that he had that I wasn't sure about, like that pain rust county or whatever seasoning, it's probably gonna be a little bit different. But I tried to choose spicy things that would make up for it. So again, this isn't exact, but this is gonna be more Cobes inspired. And I can see why you call it Dragon Breath Noodles. It builds. The heat builds. Um, for me, it's it's not bad. But if you don't like spice, you, this is not gonna, the, this is not the thing for you. I don't know how much more of this I want to eat just because I don't want to lose the war. You know, you could, it's really not terrible though. I, the, the idea of the, of the moist Doritos really kind of grossed me out, but maybe mine just isn't liquid enough. Maybe I need to put more Mountain Dew in. I, I bought plenty of it, so. Okay, this is like a cursed cereal or something. This is like a bog cereal. Oh. All right, that should be sufficient, I think. That's 
It's definitely, okay. It's more liquid, and the noodles are gonna absorb the Mountain Dew. Let's see if, let's see if this is much different. It's already absorbing it quite a bit. He must have used like a shitload. Cause his was like almost soupy. Ooh, my mouth is very warm. Definitely gonna clear my sinuses. Um, it's sweeter. Mountain Dew gives it like a tangy sweetness. Um, it's kind of gross. <laughs> and now the Doritos are much more moist. But you could eat this. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't. You'd want to, but like if this was served to me, like in a concentration camp or something, you know, I'd probably be grateful. <laughs> after several days of not eating anything. Oh, this would be rough on an empty stomach though, for sure. Yeah. But it's not it's not awful, you know? You never know what you're gonna get with a King Cobra recipe. Sometimes it's like just the worst thing ever, and sometimes it's weird but kinda good. And this is the latter, I would say. It's weird. It's very hot. But it's kind of good. So From 1 to 10, how good? Well, I don't know that I would ever desire it. <laughs> you know? Like, I would never set out to make this. Other than right now, for a video. This is just something that was cooked up in Cove's lab. And... Yeah, you wouldn't want to eat a whole lot of this at once, I don't think. It, um, my mouth is very warm. My lips are very warm. And I feel like I'm going to regret this. Well, there you go. This is the uh, Dragon Breath Ramen. And uh, I'm Honest Tries. Be sure to give me a like and a subscribe if you want to see me try more. King Cobra, more Jack, any any other recipe, any other thing you want me to try, I'll try to figure it out for you. Um, I've got links to Patreon and Kofi down below if you'd like to support me uh, in these trying times. Anything you throw my way, I really appreciate, and I'll give your uh, name a shout out in the video. So big thank you to Chris M, the man, um, one of my first supporters. Uh, also, uh, EHC Meyer, Buffy, and Bobby H. Thank you so much for your contributions. I really appreciate it. Um, you make me want to do more. So, thank you. Everyone else, I'll see you next time.